Down at the Lock Cottage, there's been a new addition to the carrier household. He's me very own pet. Dead good, isn't he? A tortoise! It's all right, I suppose. He likes you to scratch his neck. Oh! You scared him! Come on, you pair, if you're coming. You to bit the wolf by two. Have you thought of a name for him? No, not yet. Bye, Bapu. Cheerio. I think you should call him Timmy Timmy. <coughs> Fairport. <coughs> no, come away. Come here. <coughs> what is it? What's he got? Under there, Joshua. Look, look, under there. OK, Fairport, that's enough. <coughs> enough. <coughs> oh, it's a little baby bunny. I'll be scuppered. Is it all right? I think so. No, it's not. Look, it's shivering, poor little thing. Fiona will look after you. It's only frightened. Look, I'm a bit pushed for time. Daxo, would you... Um... All right, Josh, I'll explain. Come on, Ravi. Scoot. Um, Fiona, there's Isn't some... Isn't lovely, Mrs. K? Yes. There you are. Doesn't that look healthy? Ooh, rabbit food. I thought I was having meat pie. <laughs> Pies make you fat, mm. treasure. And you're Ooh. fat enough. Ooh. Oh, Sharon. I'm putting you on a diet. Mm. Oh, are you, Josh? Spanner, we've got those pipes down at the wharf, remember? Don't just sit there pigging all day. Not much chance of that. Radish. <gasps> I might have known it. Skiving as usual. Generally about. Wick, here comes trouble. Spanner, why aren't you at the wharf? Hmm? It's me dinner time, Mr. Cashmore. It's always your <laughs> dinner time. It's all right, Treasure. You can take your dinner with you. Oh, thanks for nothing. Ooh. Come on, man. I want to see you loading up. Right you are, Mr. Cashmore. Anything you say. <laughs> Step on it, man. Tasha. I'd look after it really well. I know you would, Fiona. But this isn't a pet. It's a wild creature. It belongs with its own kind. It will be all right, Fiona. I know, but it's not fair. <laughs> Off you go. That's it. You make friends with Fairport. OK, Spanner, let's get rolling. Right, yeah. <sighs> Jones, come into the office, would you? I need you to sign some papers. Right, Mr Cashmore. <sighs> oh, lovely. <laughs> Now get those pipes loaded, Jones. You haven't touched your dinner. Um, I seem to have lost my appetite. Oh, 
Well, in that case, you won't mind if I have it. Very important meeting in Cranford. No time for a proper lunch. <laughs> proper lunch? What a cheek! Gosh! Spanner! He's gone! Me tortoise! He's gone! his name, Ravi? I haven't given him one yet. Oh. Uh, here, uh, thingy. Come to Uncle Spanner. Ooh, what's that? Ravi, there's something in this pipe. Oh, stunning, Sharon. Ooh, time I wasn't here. Actually, I could probably reach him. Uh. Ooh, he feels, um... Uh. Ooh. There, look. You've got it now. All right, I know how you feel. I haven't had my own dinner yet. Daphne Peacock Veterinary Centre. Yes, I understand. Okay, Josh. I'm on my way. Come on, man. What's the problem? <sighs> Old sea boards, Mr. Cashmore. Get those gates open. I'm in a hurry. In my business, time is money. Slow coaches don't get anywhere. Ooh. Is he all right? I'm not sure. In fact, I think this tortoise is... <laughs> e meat pie! <laughs> Mr. Ruth! <laughs> What's that doing in there? Work! One plate of tortoise food coming up! <clears throat> oh. Uh, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Lovely lettuce, this, Sharon. Mm. Oh, yum, yum. Mm. Really healthy. <laughs> We did, Mum. We looked everywhere. He's gone. Forever. Oh, dear. It's not been a good day for animal lovers. I'm sure he'll be all right. He won't. He's not wild. <coughs> oh, no. Fairport, I bet he's found another rabbit. <coughs> Clear off. The little blighter was trying to eat my lettuce. Oh, me tortoise. <laughs> Lucky Ravi. Better eye on him in future. Oh, I will. <laughs> Won't we, Fiona? We? You can share him with me if you like. Oh, Ravi, I'd love to. Oh. You still haven't got a name for him. How about Tear Away Trevor? <laughs> some people live in the country, some people live in the city or town. Some people live at the top of the tower, but some people live much nearer the ground. The Joshua Jones can live wherever he goes, down by the wallside, or any place the water flows. La -la -la.
This morning, Joshua Jones is down at Bigot's Wharf, loading up with farm chemicals. OK, Spanner, lift away. Fairport, come here. That's nasty stuff in those drums. To me now. Keep it coming. No, Spanner, not there. Spanner, that stack's too high. Too high for what? Oh, Struth, take cover! Come on! Come on! I'm coming! I'm coming! Get your head down! Um, What do we do now, Josh? We get ourselves some protective gear and clear that lot up. Can't we leave it till after me dinner? No, we can't. For once, Wilton Cashmore seems to be in his boss's good books. That's very kind of you to say so, Mr. Bigot. Oh, yes, I do like a bet on the horses. Oh, you've got a hot tip. Oh, hold on a second. I'll get a pencil. Right, uh, the horse is Bigot's banquet. Oh, and it can't lose. Mm. I'll certainly put a bet on. Oh, uh, Mr. Bigot, may I? No problem cleaning your plate, Spanner. Yeah, well, it's cleaning that blooming wharf that's given me an appetite. Josh, come quickly. There's something wrong with Fairport. I think he's hurt. He was, like, bumping into things. What's the matter with him? Hard to tell. Seems to have got something in his eyes. White powder or... Oh, Struth! It's that stuff! You're quite safe, little chap. We'll be there in a tick. He's... He's, he's not going blind, is he? That's too early to say, Josh. Now, there's a new eye ointment I'd like to try, but it's very expensive. Perhaps 30 or 40 pounds. <sighs> Whatever you think best. Josh, where are you going to get 40 pounds from? No idea. Ravi and me could earn the money for you, couldn't we? Yeah. How? Oh, we could. We could do a sponsored walk. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Josh? I think I'm very lucky to have such good friends. Thank you, Daphne. I knew I could rely on you. How are we doing? We still need more sponsors. Who haven't we asked? Whoa. Hold your horses, Mr Cashmore. <sighs> Give us a rest. Come on, man. What's the matter with you? It's heavy, Mr Cashmore. Nonsense. It's just out of condition. Worth a try. Ooh. Hey. Blinking head. It's always me that gets the heavy work. Ooh. Everybody <sighs> else is helping, Mr Cashmore. Even him? Yes. Spanner's going to walk with us, aren't you? Am I? Spanner? <laughs> Spanner couldn't walk more than a... Hang on just a minute. I've reconsidered. I will sponsor one of you for two pounds per mile. What do you say to that? Oh, Daddy, thank you. Who? Spanner. <laughs> I hope you've got some good soles on those boots, Ravi. This just like start of Olympic marathon, what I see on telly. It's good legs that he'll need, eh, Mrs. Carrier? Well, he does enough cycling. And it's a lovely day here at Ainscott for what, for me, is the highlight of the horse racing season. The Aren't you coming to watch, race. Mr. Cashmore? They're just about to ah, set the off. Horses are now coming into the parade ring. Don't panic, folks. I'm here. What on earth have you got in that rucksack? Well, there's two basins of my treacle pudding. An old load of other stuff what Mr Cashmore gave me. Just trying to help the boy along. Trying to slow him down, more like. Right, everybody. Best foot forward. Sure. I'm just wondering, which is my best foot? Oh, <laughs> use either of them. They're both lovely. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm glad Spanner's carrying that rucksack, not me. I hope he's still with us. He just better be. Treasure? Are you all right? Oh, I'm having a bit of trouble with my legs. They oh! won't do what I tell them. All girls fancy, ten to one. Bigot's banquet, favourite. Favourite? Oh, yeah. I'd rather give my money to the lifeboat fund. No, the horse for me is Lord Nelson. Hi, Bapu. Aren't we doing well? Spanner's behind us, somewhere. Can you make sure he goes the right way? Aye, aye, Josh. Message understood. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Oh, my. It's no good I'm done in. I need some of Sharon's treacle pudding to get me strength up. Oh, I can see the horses now making their way down to the start. I'll hand you straight over to Gerald Platt. Hey, clear off. Get your own dinner. Bickett's banquet seems to be giving his jockey a bit of trouble. Get a grip, man. He certainly looks raring to go. Oh, 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 that! That's my boy. They're understarted orders and... Oh! They're off. And it's Argyle's fancy looking good, followed by no right turn. But it's big, it's yes, big. Yes, come on, come on, come on! Having a third jump, and it looks like they're all over. Yes, they're all over. <laughs> oh, Argyle's Get fancy away. doing well, but it's big, it's banquet oh. coming up on the oh. inside. The rest of the field close behind. Oh. They're at the ward jump, and oh. big, it's banquet just oh. flies in. Oh. Oh. But there's still three furlongs to get. The right turn pressing hard. Oh, and Lord Nelson followed him. Oh, come on, Nelson. Followed by Daniel's boy. Speed ahead. Oh. It's Lord Nelson showing oh, on the outside. Get off your bones. Right What's up with you? Still biggest back without in front. No, Spanner. Oh, turn right oh. here. To starboard. Oh, oh, you're going the wrong way. There's no stopping him now. At the finishing post, it's biggest back. Yes, I'm right turn. Oh, 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 I expect he just gave up. Ooh, that Spanner. Wait till I get hold of him. Our boy Spanner not made it, eh? <laughs> oh, what a shame. That means I don't have to pay up, doesn't it? <laughs> Mr Cashmore, it's Spanner. He wants to know if you'll give him a lift back from Cranford. He must be joking. Let him walk. But that's nine miles away. That's 18, 18 times, times 2 pounds. It's 36. Yeah. Daddy, we've worked out how much you'll have to pay when Spanner gets back. It comes to 36 pounds. 36 pounds. I've been stung. Ooh, I think I've worn the soles off my feet. You're terrific, Spanner. What? You're our hero. And here's your special reward. Treacle pudding? No! Stings! Uh, Keep it away! Keep it away! No! There you are, Fairport. See anybody you know? <coughs> you can see! How wonderful! Wonderful indeed. Thanks, Daphne. <laughs>
Joe Lasky's horse, Trojan, is lame. So Joe's had to call in Daphne Peacock, the vet. This may hurt a bit. <laughs> Try and hold him steady, Fee. I am. There, there, Trojan. Be brave. <laughs> a rusty nail. No wonder it was painful. <laughs> Pigs are making a racket. Yes, they starving hungry. I run out of food. No food, but... Oh, it's okay. I got big load coming today. Josh make special delivery. Wilton Cashmore's just installed a new burglar alarm. Oh, dear. I expect you're dying to know how it works, Mrs. Carrier. No, actually, well, I... It's like this. The whole house is now a network of super-sensitive photoelectric beams. So, if, in the dead of night, a burglar were to try and... Oh, oh. Good, eh? Switch it off! What? How do you switch it off? Uh, oh, I don't know! Oh. Don't eat so fast or you'll get indigestion. Come on, my beauty. I need you for get pig food. <sighs> Nearly time to meet Josh. Oh, no. Is something wrong, Mr. Lasky? Blinking is something wrong. I got big problem. Where's Joe? He said he'd be waiting on the towpath. Look, there he is. Hey, he's pushing your pram. Hello! Oh, Josh, I got no diesel for tractor to move pig feed. That's no problem. I always keep a spare can on board. No, Josh, I got no money for pay you. I, I spend it all on pig food. Well, you can have it. No. I put it all on the pram and push it to the farm. Fair enough. At least, let us give you a hand, eh? OK, if you like. <coughs> Don't worry, Mr. Cashmore. It's probably what we experts call a shortened circular. I don't care what it is. Just shut it up. Right, yeah. Leave it to me, Mr. Cashmore. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah. Bliss. Oh, I've had it, Joe. I'm done in. Do you want them inside? No. I put in barn tomorrow. <laughs> After Mad Jack's been, you mean? Who's Mad Jack? <laughs> oh, he's just someone. What comes haunt sometimes? You mean he's a spook? You mean here? Well, you see. Come here, come here. A hundred years ago, Mad Jack, he was a robber, come to steal from canal boats. He look for somewhere hide his booty, and he find this barn. <gasps> they say he come at midnight on 13th June. 13th of June? That's tonight. Yes! Uh, what? What? Uh, that alarm! Right! That's it! That is as much as I can take! Sensitive electronic beams! Rubbish! I'll teach you to be <coughs> sensitive, you loud mouth. Wilton Cashmore's Lake residence? I'll get rid of you once Mr. and Cashmore, for all. Mr. That Bigot wants was, to... Yes. Oh! You mean, he was the telephone? <laughs> the telephone. Really of course true. it isn't. There are no such things as ghosts. Bet you daren't go in there at midnight, though. Bet you I dare. 
We do rest in morning, eh? Okay, Joe. Come on, Ravi. Better get you home before it gets dark. Go on, ask him. Um, Mr. Lasky, uh, can we stay the night? Oh, that Joe Lasky's a stubborn old sausage, Fairport. If he'd have let me put some diesel in his tractor, we'd have been finished and gone by now. Come on, Fiona. It's nearly midnight. Ghost-busting time. Don't be silly, Ravi. Go on, then. What was that? Just an owl. Uh, Fiona, perhaps this isn't a very good idea. You thought of it. I know, but I I'm After not... After you, Ghostbuster. We need to find somewhere to hide. The hayloft. Look, there's a ladder. <coughs> Where do you think you're going? Huh? Uh, well, I was just going to uh, close the door. Oh, you wimp. Come on. Fiona, are you scared? Of course I'm not. I am. Can we go back now? Only if you admit there are no such things as ghosts. All right. Say it then. Say, I admit there are no such things as... <gasps> Lasky's tractor. So he could get the pig food. Do you understand any of this, Trojan? It's all beyond me. Morning, Daphne. They are, Joe. <sighs> all done in one go. I think they very brave children. Josh could have been ghost of Mad Jack. No, he couldn't. There's no such thing as a ghost. Is there, Fiona? Some people live in the country Some people live in the city or town Some people live at the top of the tower But some people live much nearer the ground The Joshua Jones Can live wherever he goes Down by the wallside Or any place the water flows La la
It's fruit picking time down at the lock, and Admirable Carrier has a problem. Oh, uh, yes. Just as I thought. The best plums are always up aloft. Nothing for it. I shall have to use my trusty stepladder. Right. Place firmly on the deck and reach out the yard arm. Oh, oh, oh. shiver me stepladders. Climbing the rigging is a job for young legs. Ravi, report to your captain immediately. Sorry, Bapu. I'm an Ori. Oh, you are always in a hurry when I need your oh, 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 help. Hmm. Yeah, this old bedstead will make good new gate, I think. Hi, Mr. Lasky. Oh, uh, yes, uh, bye, Ravi. <laughs> are you sure you're not coming up to Sharon's for a sausage booty? No, not today, Sparrow. I've got some sandwiches. And for afters, Admirable Carrier has given me a nice bag of plums. I'm a sucker for a freshly picked plum. Row, row, row. Try one. Josh, this plum's an onion. Oh, flipping egg. I've picked up the wrong bag. I must have left the plums back at the lock. Well, no pudding for us today, Fairport. There's so many buttons. Mr. Cashmore, it looks a bit complicated. Of course it's complicated. What you have there is the very latest in domestic cleaning technology. Well, what do you think? I think I preferred my old one. No, I mean me. A new image. Oh, Mr. Cashmore. I've just spent the last 40 minutes ironing your grey suit. Oh. What? These I... old things? My dear Mrs. Carrier, Fiona and I have been invited to Mr. Bigot's annual presentation dinner, and I've been privileged to write his speech for the occasion. I couldn't be seen wearing these... these... rags. Throw them away! Oh, why do I bother? Oh, Joshua! I've got something for you! You forgot your plums! Hear that, Fairport? Oh, Ravi, you're a good un. There's nothing I like better than a nice squashed plum. Oh, no! I'm sorry, Josh. You could do with a saddlebag. Oh, well, better find some way to dispose of this lot. Ah, Cashmore's dustbin will do fine. Struth, the stuff he chokes out. And this evening, we at Bigot Industries are proud to present... This has just arrived for you. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Look at that. Look at that, Mrs K. Just look at that. The very latest in business equipment technology. It's a briefcase. But not an ordinary briefcase. Watch this. One, six, one, three... Two, nine, seven. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> it's impressive, isn't it? <laughs> what if you forget the number? Mrs Carrier, you are so unimaginative. It's not a number, it's a secret code. And it's filed away in here. In that case, I think I'd better take care of this. Will you be needing me any more today, Mr Cashmore? No, I don't need you, Mrs Carrier. And I won't be needing this, neither. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with half this stuff. Phew, struth. Well, well. <laughs> Reduced to scavenging in rubbish now, are we, Jones? Oh, nothing to be ashamed of. Beggars can't be choosers, can they? So feel free, feel free. <laughs> Help yourself. Right, Ravi. You heard what the man said. Now, you take this briefcase. I'll bring the vacuum cleaner. What for? Oh, I'll think of something. I've bought you a beautiful new dress, my petal. It's on the bed. Hurry along now. We've got to be there by 5.30. Wilton Cashmore speaking. Oh, hello, Mr Bigot. Yes, all prepared. But I've got your speech here. I'll just read you the opening paragraph. It's rather good. 
191 Won't be a moment, Mr. Pickett. 1916734. Daddy, you can't expect me to wear this. 1626367. Daddy? Oh, you stupid imbecile! The phone's over there! What? Oh, oh. No, no, Mr. Bigot, not you. That's not your speech. Yes, 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 of course. Oh. Mrs. Carrier, she knows the number. In the British Navy, we had to learn to adapt. So, raise bucket on one stick, knock branch with the other, and the plums with... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, plums. This is another Joe Lasky first-class job. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I bought you that dress and you wear it, Fiona. I'm not having you going to a... Ooh, hey, ooh, oh, that's all I need. What spun I done to it this time? I think you got engine trouble. But you very lucky man, cos I very good at fixed engines. No type of that, Lasky. Give me a tow. Use the tractor. You shouldn't try those sorts of tricks at your age, Bapuji. You should let somebody help you. Oh, like who? Ravi, of course. Oh, really? Come on, you fool, get a move on. That sounds like Mr. Cashmore. Faster, man, faster. This is a tractor, Mr. Cashmore, not a blooming racing car. Oh, it is. Oh, Mrs. Carrier, I need you. The darn thing won't open. Oh, Mr. Cashmore, will you ever learn? Please. Oh, very well. One, six, one, three, two, nine, seven. Oh, joy. Oh, you're a genius. Oh, you're an angel. Oh, my baby. Oh, my sainted aunt, the time, it's ten past five. How am I going to get the speech to Mr Bigot by half past? Perhaps you'd care to take advantage of the Ravi Carrier Mountain Bike Messenger Service. But, but, that's my old attache. Carrier, carrier, at your service. Don't worry, nothing to be ashamed of. Beggars can't be choosers. Can they, Mr Cashmore? Off you go, Ravi. And don't spare the pedals! Hey, Mum! It really works! <laughs> That's why he saved Mr. Cashmore's vacuum cleaner. Well, I'll be scuppered. Joshua Jones, you are a genius. No, not really. It's just that I'm a sucker for a fresh-picked plum. Thank you.